Ah. Hello, my name is Dr. Escher and I'm a synthetic biologist. Now, you may ask yourself now, what the heck is synthetic biology? Well, let me tell you. Synthetic biology is somehow comparable to engineering. You know, you want to build a car and you have parts, some other parts, and they make some devices. And in the end, hopefully, you have a car that you want to drive with. And that is also the intention of synthetic biology. Synthetic biology tries to build devices that can be implemented into organisms and they later on help us to solve problems. You know, you might have heard of biofuel or bioplastics. And because making new things is not only a challenge, but also fun, there's a competition for it called the iGEM. But what is iGEM? iGEM stands for International Genetically Engineered Machine. And it is a competition where young scientists from all over the world come together to bring synthetic biology forward. Also, they try to establish a registry of standard biological parts where every interested scientist can come to and pick one. Oh, I see, you're confused. Well, the registry is somehow comparable to a hardware store. You know, where scientists can come to, pick parts and devices and build something completely new. And this year, I, Dr. Escher <coughs> and the Marburg iGEM team present to you the factory. In medical treatment and diagnostics, there's an increasing need for high value proteins like antibodies. Antibodies that we can produce in our system. And those proteins. They have a complex structure, they need to be post-translationally modified and they have to be very pure to be used in humans, for example. So there's a need for a system that fulfills all those requirements. And we thought about different possibilities here. You know, we thought about this little fella, E. coli, small bacterium. Cheap and easy to grow at first sight, but production of high value proteins is hard to do, if not impossible. And also, purification is quite cost intensive, so that's nothing for us. Well, another option would be something you know from making beer it's baker's yeast. It grows fast, but purification is also very cost intensive, time consuming. So again, nothing for us. Yet another option would be plants. They may produce high value proteins, but they grow very slowly and the amount of proteins you get from them is very small. And to be honest, who wants to grow a forest for just a couple of grams of proteins? So, nothing for us. <laughs> but there's still another option. Microalgae. To be specific, the little fella called Pheodactylum triconutum. Just imagine producing high value protein in a system growing just with sunlight and 
No CO2. It is cheap. It is fast growing. Green. And the best part is usually you would have to extract and purify the proteins. But this little fella secretes the proteins into the medium. We have established this system with all its advantages for iGEM, enabling future research projects. But iGEM is not only about research. It's also about showing people the possibilities and benefits of synthetic biology. And to do so, we organized a number of projects and participated in events all over Germany. For example, we had a booth at the Hessentag in Kassel, where we showed people how to isolate DNA from paprika. Also, we organized a debate on the public opinion on synthetic biology in our city, led by the local debate club. We attended the Biotechnology 2020 conference in Berlin to meet up with other iGEM teams from Germany and discuss our projects. We organized a one-day course for high school students where they performed Gibson assembly and were introduced to modern biology. For me, iGEM was not only hard work, but also a great experience. Experience where I met new colleagues, but also I found a lot of new friends. <laughs> oh, isn't Thank you for your attention. Oh,